A one-year-old startup with its head office in Brisbane powered almost everything by batteries, including your laptop, cell phone, and electric vehicle. However, the lithium-ion batteries we currently use have significant drawbacks. Therefore, one Australian business is working hard to develop a better battery using drum graphene, the strongest substance known to man. Graphene is 300 times stronger than steel thanks to a new groundbreaking manufacturing technique developed by an Australian company called Graphene Manufacturer. When will a battery like this one be available? How much does recycling batteries cost? Will Tesla use it in its upcoming electric car models? Want to know about it in detail? Well, stay tuned till the end. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will talk about things that destroy your feminine energy. Meanwhile, subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. That being done, let's start. The Graphene Manufacturing Group, or GMG, made aware venture capitalists that this battery is made of aluminum, which is 1,000 times more likely to occur and significantly less expensive than lithium. As a result, this battery has three times the potential over and above what a lithium-ion battery can do in terms of energy density, which is enormous. By creating the first pouch cells for graphene-aluminum-ion batteries, it has reached another milestone. The company plans to invest heavily in building its first coin cell graphene-aluminum-ion battery manufacturing facility and launching it into the market by 2024. The first commercial manufacturing facility of this company will most likely be located in Australia, while the exact location has not yet been determined. Graphene-aluminum-ion batteries will force other battery manufacturers to change because of their great advantages. According to GMG, who claims that their batteries can charge up to 80 times faster than the best lithium-ion alternatives now on the market, graphene-aluminum-ion batteries may charge in as little as 10 seconds and provide a range of more than 1,110 miles on a single charge. Additionally, this company has developed a unique industrial process to break down natural gas, such as methane, into its component elements. In addition to graphene and hydrogen, carbon also contains lingering hydrocarbon gases. This process yields high-quality graphene at an anticipated cost of only $25 per kilowatt hour in comparison to buy blade battery. So let's talk about how secure graphene aluminum ion batteries are now. As compared to lithium or sodium-based batteries, graphene aluminum ion batteries, according to Brisbane-based startup, graphene aluminum ion batteries are safer because they don't have a maximum ampere limit that could cause spontaneous overheating. Because of its stability and low flammability in comparison to current technologies, aluminum stands out as a factor in enhancing battery safety. The remaining battery components are all secure and pose no danger when handled. None of them are flammable. As you may know, 20% of the space occupied by a lithium-ion battery pack is used to cool the batteries. However, with a graphene-aluminum-ion battery, there is a very high likelihood that we won't need any cooling or heating at all. The assembled Gabe operates well within a wide temperature range of negative 40 to 120 degrees centigrade without loss of capacity. This is quite encouraging for all climate wearable energy devices. This design opens the door for future super batteries so that their capacity won't be negatively impacted by cold conditions as compared to graphene aluminum ion batteries. So far in testing, it doesn't overheat and performs well below zero. The Bide Blade battery offers a high level of safety in addition. A thorough nail piercing test verified the blade's battery's surface temperature to be between 30 and 60 degrees centigrade, which is extremely low while producing no smoke or flames. It cannot, however, tolerate extremely low temperatures like graphene aluminum ions, and even those devices are challenging to make. They can be recharged and recycled as well. With GMG's technique, the cells just require graphene and aluminum, and at the end of the battery's life, the aluminum is recycled and the graphene is reused. So recycling the cells is by no means a problem. Battery recycling costs were once projected to be $62 per kilowatt hour, but graphite aluminum ion batteries are cheap and simple to recycle, only costing approximately $20 per kilowatt hour. For instance, recycling Gabe's for a Tesla's Model 3 basic range would only cost roughly $1,600 due to their 80 kilowatt hour total projected capacity. As a byproduct of the process, they will also be able to produce hydrogen, which will allow them to remove pollution virtually entirely. Additionally, businesses will be able to dramatically reduce emissions like greenhouse gases because aluminum is infinitely recyclable and requires up to 95% less energy to recycle. After being separated, aluminum is gathered and sent to a recycling facility where it is cleaned, sorted, crushed, remelted, and solidified to produce a new environmentally friendly product that is pollution-free. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below. 
And that's all for the day, guys. If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you for watching. We'll see you at the next one. Until then, peace.